All right, hi guys. I'm gonna do um, the electron configuration. Actually, let me, let me move the periodic table up and I'll do it below. Okay, so I'm gonna do the electron configuration for SM. So just starting at the very top here, as a reminder, this is my S block and HE is right here, not over here. This is my P, this is D, and this is F. S starts at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. P starts at two, three, four, five, six, seven. D starts at three, four, five, six, and then F starts at four. Okay, so getting all the way to SN. So we're gonna do one S2, two electrons, the hydrogen and the helium, then I go down to the next row, two S2, and then over here, 2p6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, then we go down to 3s, there's 2. And then over to 3p, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3p6, and then down here to 4s2. And then we go all the way across 3d10. And then across 4p6. And then 5s2. And then... 4 d10 and then 5 p6 and then we come down here and we're at 6s so i'm going to write 6s2 right here because we're going to cross two and then we hit 57 so 57 is actually this guy right here and he's technically part of the d's so these are all part of the f's right here okay so that would give me um, 5 d1 um, right to account for um, lanthanium, so that's number 57, and then number 58 is cerium right here, and that is 4F, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, so when you Google it, you might see it differently um, because I believe SM is a is one of the, like, there's, there's, I would say, a handful of exceptions on this periodic table. I think SM might be one of them. Um, so someone asked, um, I'm trying to read it, what they said on the discussion board. So somebody basically wanted to know if it was, oh, if it was a five here with a one here or if it was four F six. So it is the five with the one and then the four with the F. Um, because this guy technically belongs right there and you are crossing it. Um, yeah, so that's it. If I wanted to know the valence electrons for this, somebody asked for valence electrons specifically for D and F orbitals. So for this one, if I wanted to know the valence electrons, um, I would look at the outermost energy level, right? So remember these numbers here, um, indicate energy levels. So out of all those numbers, six is the highest. So that's what I'm gonna use for electrons. So this has two valence electrons um, because on my highest energy level, the one furthest out, I have six. Um, just as a little like side note, let's say I wasn't going to um, samarium, let's say I was going over here to lead, right? This is up here. So I'm just gonna continue this as if I was going up to lead. So I'm gonna do the noble gas configuration. My noble gas is XE. So noble gas configuration, XE. And then I would start here. So that's 6S2. I'd go all the way across my Ds and all the way across my Fs, right? So that's um, 4F14. Uh, and then that's 5D10. And now I'm back here at six. See, there's a six here. So six, P2. So now when I'm doing valence electrons, I see a 6, a 4, a 5, and a 6. So 6 are my outermost energy levels. I have two electrons here plus two here, so that's four valence electrons. Um, I hope that helps. Please let me know if, if you have any other questions.